Hello, Hello. welcome mm. to Simple Butternut Squash Soup. Yes! So this is simple soup, really easy. Butter and squash is really lovely, sweet, beautiful, creamy, and we're gonna cream it up even more with a can of coconut milk just to bring out those wonderful seeds. Feeds four people, takes about 40 minutes to make. Let's get her started. First, we're gonna prep our three cloves of garlic. Just slice them up nice and fine. We've got one decent sized onion. I'm gonna prep him nice and fine as well. Okay, so let's start by adding a couple of tablespoons of oil to the pan. So we're gonna add in the onion first, just because we don't want the garlic to burn. Okay, so we've cooked that down for about three minutes. Time to add the garlic. We're gonna cook our garlic for another couple of minutes. So while your onion and garlic are frying away, we're time to prep our carrot and butternut squash. So we've got a medium butternut squash, and we're always gonna peel a butternut squash. So take the top off, take the bottom off, grab a peeler and just peel. So now she's peeled, she's naked, she's ready for us. And we want to kind of cube it. Oh, look at that, get a spoon. And just take out its innards. Okay, so time to add the carrot and squash. Carrot chopped roughly, in she goes. And I've got two teaspoons of salt. This is just gonna help break down the squash and release its beautiful flavors. Grab your wooden spoon and work it. Just work that squash and carrot, spreading the salt around, helping kind of break in those outer layers and release a bit of moisture and flavor. Okay, so we're just gonna add a little bit of fresh thyme to this as well while it's frying down. So now it's time to add our coconut milk and our veg stock. We got one can of full fat coconut milk, about 20% fat. Okay, so now we got two liters of stock, vegetable stock, just oh, in it goes. It. Turn up the heat, bring her to the boil and leave her simmer for 20 minutes just until the squash is lovely and soft. Okay, so she's pretty much been boiling away for about 20 minutes and she's ready to rock and roll. So the thing to look for here, if I can grab the wooden, the wooden spoon, is just make sure your squash is soft. Just hold it up, bang it against the sides, yeah, ooh. Or even alternatively, interact with your food. Pick it up. Oh, well, beautiful, no, perfect. Mmm. Really buttery, creamy. Lovely. Okay, so this lad's ready to go. I'm just gonna add half a teaspoon of black pepper just to help season it nicely. I like black pepper. And now mm. it is the blendy, blendy time. Yeah. Okay, so she's pretty much ready to rock and roll. We've got our luxurious ladle here. Enamel ladle must be served with a beautiful enamel ladle. Okay, so how to take a good soup and pimp this baby up. So we have some toasted pumpkin seeds. Just put them on a pan for about five, six minutes until they started to pop. No oil, you see them there, look good. Okay, and I've got a little bit of chili flakes, beautiful chili flakes. Time to dive in there. Mm. Beautiful. Silky, creamy, silky, smooth, smooth, lovely. smooth, sweet, more, yes please. Really, really tasty. There you so, are. Like a hug on a warm day. Super tasty, couldn't recommend it more. Give us a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe, like, watching. and thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. Bye. Cheers.